Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and uh, this is a video for Wednesday, March 18th, 2020, and I want to let you know what's going on in Vegas, everybody. Uh, listen, they're shutting down Vegas for the most part. It was announced at 6 p.m. Pacific time on uh, Tuesday night that all gaming will stop as of midnight Pacific time Wednesday morning in all non-essential businesses, which means all the casinos, all the hotels are going to be closing the doors at 12 noon Pacific time on Wednesday. So it's not a home quarantine. We can get out and do things, but we aren't going to any uh, sports bars or sports books or casinos or anything like that. And from what the governor says, it's going to all be shut down for at least 30 days. That's the minimum. So we're going to come to you because, listen, I'm bored out of my mind already, as I'm sure you are, without being able to watch sports. Thought we were going to be able to have UFC. They closed down after this past week, and for now, thought we'd have Mexican uh, Premier League soccer. They've closed down. I'm not going to handicap Russian soccer. I'm not going to handicap Turkish soccer. God bless those who do. Uh, but what I am going to do is jump into Aussie Rules football. So the last couple of days, I haven't done a video since the weekend. Last couple of days, I've talked to a couple of the guys who are uh, proficient betters when it comes to Aussie rules football and we're going to put my head together with those two and uh, we're going to be releasing some Aussie rules football over at DocSports.com on my handicappers homepage and I'll give you an example uh, the opening game is Thursday at 4 25 a.m. Eastern 1 25 a.m. Pacific time that's the kickoff and uh, that game will be on Fox Sports 2 which you can watch if you have your basic sports packages obviously uh, Fox Sports 1 and or Fox Sports 2 two from what I've seen so far or heard so far are going to be showing at least one game per week. Maybe it'll pick up when they find out Americans hunger and need for live sports and competition. So that's the case for now. There's generally what four games per week, four days per week and uh, also Fox Soccer Channel will show a bunch of other Aussie Rules football game each week but that is a subscription channel uh, just so you know. But I'm going to be jumping in right out of the blocks Thursday morning 4 25 a.m. Eastern 1 25 a.m. Pacific. Now over at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage, I'm going to post the play probably around 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday. So if you do want to jump on board, by all means, you'll be able to do so over at DocSports.com. And again, if I post that at 6 p.m. Eastern, it gives about 10 hours, a little bit more than 10 hours of being able to grab the play if you can get action. And by the way, find out if you can get action if you want to play Aussie Rules football uh, before you think about jumping on board. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Do, and uh, that's what I do. I'm a handicapper. I'm a better. And uh, if I got a couple of the guys who have been following this for years, then what I'm going to do, obviously, is um, is put this together between the three of us. I mean, I know all about line value. They know all about Aussie Rules football. I know a little bit about Aussie Rules football. We're going to put it all together. And we're going to get you those plays at DocSports.com. I uh, wanted to mention also... Uh, daily again or uh, every other day I'm gonna have videos tired of not doing anything basically gonna have videos either every day or every other day and I'm gonna start knocking out the NFL team by team uh, after free agency is done after everybody signed sealed delivered all that stuff we're gonna start that on Friday and so I'm not sure if we're gonna be up by 5 a.m. Eastern time on Friday but once we get cooking it'll be like normal 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific we will knock out a video a day or a video every other day and of course I'll I'll tell you on each day's video when the next video will be posted. All right, so I hope I made that easy enough to understand. Um, also wanted to mention, I do want to talk about some of the free agent rumors and signings that have taken place, especially on Tuesday and Monday. Uh, of course, I'm coming to you early morning hours on a Wednesday. We know about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, being the rumored team where Tom Brady will land. He's obviously told, you know by, the, by now that he's told uh, the Patriots he's no longer going to be a Patriot. The report from that I've seen from like CBS Sports, for instance, are saying that he's going to get a two-year deal for $30 million per year. Uh, so we'll see. It's not in stone yet. It hasn't been signed yet. At least they haven't released that info yet. But that's the rumor. Obviously, if Tampa Bay lands, Tom Brady, it'll be interesting because, you know, Bruce Arians does like to fire the ball downfield a little bit more than Bill Belichick did. And if Brady's arm was showing signs of age last year, and if that's the case, it'll be interesting to see what kind of offense they're going to run in Tampa Bay under Arians and, and try to play to Tom Brady's strength. So I don't even have a grade for that yet. If Tampa Bay signs him, it's obviously an upgrade uh, from what they have now with Jameis Winston. And how about that? Jameis Winston, he got eye surgery, LASIK surgery just in time to watch 
watch and see Tom Brady become a Buccaneer. Uh, the Saints re-signed Drew Brees. Obviously, that's an A grade. There's no doubt about that. Uh, he's going to be with the Saints, and I'm kind of reading the details on it right now. Two-year deal, 50 million bucks is what they're reporting at CBS. Uh, Panthers, of course, they added Teddy Bridgewater to the mix for Carolina, and uh, it's a pretty good deal, I think. I mean, $20 million a year deal uh, for Teddy Bridgewater, and at this point of their careers, I, I guess I, I favor Teddy Bridgewater over Cam Newton. I don't know what you guys think, but slightly better than Cam Newton at this point. We'll see where Cam ends up. Uh, I got to tell you right now that the Colts picked up Phillip Rivers. Do we jump on the bandwagon and say Phillip Rivers' time is done, that he, nobody should have signed him, that the Colts are, you know, paying him $25 million for one year is too much, and they should have never signed him. It's time for him to retire. Well, we'll see. I mean, he didn't exactly have things going really well around him with the Chargers, and he did look like he was ready for retirement for a good chunk of the last season and a half. Uh, but the Colts are going to take a chance on him. Uh, Titans re-sign Ryan Tannehill. You've probably heard that already. Uh, and so he's going to get a ton of money. I'm not sure he's worth a ton of money, but the bottom line is he's been re-signed by the Titans. And that means Marcus Mariota had to find a job and he lands here in Las Vegas, down the road a few miles east of me. And uh, listen, I... I I don't know if there's any anything magic that uh, Gruden could do with Marcus Mariota, but he's still, and he's never been able to do this, he still can't make that pass outside the numbers to his right for whatever reason. So when you're looking 10, 15, 20 yards downfield, he throws to the right side outside the numbers. He just is not accurate at all. Doesn't seem to be able to make that pass. So listen, no big deal there. I, it doesn't help. The Raiders, as far as I'm concerned, and uh, I guess he'll compete with Derek Carr. We'll see what happens. So, listen, I don't want to get into all the defensive end signings, defensive player signings, offensive player signings. I just wanted to let you know about the guys who can potentially make a difference when it comes to the point spread, and those are the quarterbacks, as you know. So, again, we're going to go team by team starting on Friday. We're going to break down each NFL team, kind of talk, and we'll do it much shorter than this video. We'll do it like in five minutes or less, and we'll talk about each team and where we think they are now compared to to the end of the season heading into next season and hopefully everything will go as planned and we'll get football back in august preseason play and uh, fight off this nasty uh, coronavirus so uh, that's about it from me from las vegas again if you want to jump on board with aussie rules football i'm going to be playing it i've got a couple of guys on board uh, who are going to uh, give their opinions and we're going to share opinions and we're going to work to obviously have winners because Obviously, that helps my bankroll to be betting games that win. Uh, and again, you can find those over at DocSports.com. And again, they will be, game one will be released on Wednesday by 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. That's it for me for this particular video. Uh, again, I'll be back here on Friday as we'll start going game, uh, team by team in the NFL and breaking it down. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I promise those football videos will be much shorter than this one. Just want to let you know what's going on here in Vegas and what my plans are moving forward. I'm tired of sitting around. I'm going to pump out some videos on almost a daily basis. Hope you guys are on board and uh, and we'll talk to you on Friday. All right, let's uh, cash that winner on Thursday morning. We'll talk to you on Friday. I'm Scott Spritz for DocSports.com.